Hey folks, I'm back with an update to an earlier video I made about uh, uninstalling an app like Gboard. Gboard is probably the main app that people complain about uh, and they want to get rid of it. Uh, your transmitter might automatically update to it, so I'll show you what Gboard does that's undesirable first. If you go into the timer settings and you click on the name, you notice you can't see where you're typing because the keyboard covers up where the text goes. And uh, the original Gboard that uh, comes on the transmitter puts what you're typing up here in the upper left where you can see it. So if you happen to have this and you need to type something, one way you can do it is to backspace off. And now you can see right here is what's on the screen underneath the keyboard. But if you take it completely off and you want to type something different like motor, which is what I use, something like motor, this word right here is what's going to be on the screen when you click the check mark or tap the check mark. I'm clicking because I'm doing this on my computer. And you can see it's correct, but a Gboard hides what you're typing. So let's go through what to do to get rid of it. So we get back out of this. We pull down from the top of the screen. We go to the task manager. The square button's the task manager. The round button is home and the triangle is the back button. So, I have Wi-Fi turned on. I'm going to show you that you can uninstall it without uh, the Google Play Store or Wi-Fi. So first of all, let's drag Airware off the screen. And if you click the task manager, you'll see these bars and no recent items. So nothing is running. So we'll drag down from the top and turn off Wi-Fi and you should leave Wi-Fi turned off. You don't need to leave it on because your transmitter could accidentally update something without your knowledge. So the Wi-Fi is turned off. Okay, so now we go to um, settings and we go to apps and notifications. And we click to see them all, however many there are. And if you scroll down, you'll come to Gboard. They're in alphabetical order. Now, if you click on an app in this list and it's got these three dots right here, that means you have uh, options. Uh, if it doesn't show these three dots, it's probably the original version. So you don't want to disable it, you want to uninstall it. So click the three dots and it says uninstall updates. Tap on that and say OK. And it's uninstalling it. Now when it gets done, now the screen has changed a little bit, but let, let's get out of here. And in fact, let's uh, go to the task manager and let's drag settings off the screen. And so if we click it again, nothing's running. Click the home button and go to settings and go to apps and notifications and see all of them. And we scroll back down to Gboard. There's no three dots. So this is it. You don't have any options. Now, if you scroll down and click on advanced, you see the version number. And if it had been installed or updated from the Google store, the Play Store, it would say that it would say Play Store and that it was updated. And, and well, at any rate, we know it's gone. It's uh, back to the original version. So let's go back to the task manager, drag this off the screen, start up airware. 
and we'll go back into the timer settings and click the clock and we click the name and well I clicked too many times <laughs> I should have waited uh, let me get back out of here all right so we'll click the name all right now you see it puts what you're typing up above the keyboard so you can see what you're doing up here so it's much better I think the keys are bigger also but you don't want to let Gboard update if it does update you want to uninstall it like I just showed you and um, so anyway uh, let's see drag down click on task manager drag everywhere off the screen to shut it off and go to settings go to apps and notifications and see all of them and let's scroll down let's see if um, one of the apps that doesn't work the original version doesn't work is YouTube and click the three dots see it says uninstall so it did get updated at some point I may have updated intentionally because it's one of the apps you can update uh, because the original app doesn't work but I use a separate account for my iX14 I do not use the same Google account that I use for email and stuff uh, that way I don't get email at my transmitter or notifications or anything like that it's I use it like it's a transmitter I don't use it like it's a cell phone the Google Play Store it updated at some point so it has the three dots but so far it's been okay to update the Play Store in fact you may have to for it to download updates um, but most of the apps let's see Nova 7 is one of the main yeah it's the original version and let's go down to let's see the settings app that's an important one and it's the original apparently oh I need to show you what it does when you've got one that has been updated we'll go back to YouTube I'll show you that uh, if you scroll down you click on advanced or tap advanced and scroll further down you see it says store if an app says store and it says app install from Google Play Store then it is an updated app it's not the original one that came on the transmitter so if you want to go back to the original if it's causing problems click on the three dots and tell it to uninstall updates and notice I'm I'm not connected to Wi-Fi you can uninstall apps without being connected to Wi-Fi or Google and by the way you can connect to your Wi-Fi network and still not be able to go to the Google store if your uh, date and time is wrong so if you're having troubles go in here and make sure that your date is set correctly and the time is correct or at least close to the correct time main thing is the date if you unplug the battery the clock could lose track of where it is because I don't think it has a battery backup at least mine doesn't appear to my transmitter is a little over two years old I wouldn't think the battery has gone bad in that length of time but at any rate if you can connect to Wi-Fi but you can't connect to the Google Play Store make sure your date and time is correct and this is where you set it so And then to make sure nothing's running click the task manager drag it off the screen if you click it again and it shows the three bars whatever they are then nothing's running and the round button is home and when you're back here of course you can see the the month and day but it doesn't show you the year and it shows you the time but it doesn't show you a.m. or p.m. so uh, if these are not correct then you probably need to go in and set your date and time but to start airware just click it tap on it that is and there you go so 
you drag down, you click the task manager. If you drag down from the top again, this is where you turn Wi-Fi on. And you click the back button and it goes away. And when it connects, you'll see the fan. You do not want to see this fan when you're operating this transmitter. You need to keep the Wi-Fi turned off. So, anyway, um, there you go. Maybe that'll save you a little bit of trouble. Catch y'all later.